what is up guys welcome back so today i've got more basketball updates for you guys i've got so much to talk about in so little time <laughs> but yeah i've got uh, two stories to talk about but one of them is the main thing i'm going to get down as well i'm sure a lot of people know that i'm a los angeles lakers fan and i'm going to be getting into that story but first i want to talk about this trade that just happened and also um you're going to see a little thing pop up uh, it's from bleacher report so make sure you go and check that out, um, just go on their website or if you've got an app on your phone, check out Bleach Report, trust me, information there is priceless. Okay, so first story up we have right now is Dwight Howard has been traded from the Atlanta Hawks to the Charlotte Hornets. Now I know a lot of people are thinking like, why did he go from one, the Hawks, to the Hornets? That doesn't really make any sense. And especially for the picks he was traded for. He was traded for the 27th pick of the Hornets. And he was traded for the, who uh, I think it was Miles Plumley and Marco Bellinelli. Which aren't bad players. They're, you know, pretty much average to good players. But for Dwight Howard, it's actually bad. Because he's gone from a, a team that was making the playoffs. Now he's going to be with a struggling team. Luckily, the Charlotte Hornets, they still have Kemba Walker. You know, but every player that's been there to the Charlotte Hornets has not really worked out. They traded away Al Jefferson, which was probably one of the good centers at the time. who probably could have stuck with the Hornets, but they didn't. And you know, the Hornets, they've never really, they've never really prospered anything trying to go above anything, trying to make the playoffs or trying to at least go for a conference title or a championship. That's never happened for them because they've never had the players. Now. I wouldn't say they've so much have not had the players, but it's just they've never really actually done anything to per, to pursue uh, a lot of good players because they had picks, but they just traded them away. Now for the Hornets, this is a good pickup. You know, they actually they're actually getting a good center. But for Dwight, this is as a player, this is something bad, and the reason why is because he's not really excelled expectations. Everybody's expected him to do so much better. When he went to the Rockets, I think the first year he was there, he did good. But then the, when he came to the second year, they traded him away to the Hawks. With the Hawks, I don't feel like he's done anything potentially big either. But with the Hornets, we'll have to wait and see. Now, it's weird because everybody knows that the draft is tomorrow. The NBA draft is pretty much tomorrow. And all the teams right now are trying to fix their picks and trying to get better players of what they can. So... All I, all I can suggest is to the Charlotte Hornets is that if you're picking up Dwight Howard, make sure you pick up another piece. Um, I'm looking at that two guard and three position. It is not looking so good. And possibly the four. Actually, the four, not so bad. But they do need some more players to pick up. So they might need to trade within themselves or they might just have to go with someone who's pretty much average but can still do the job. Now, on to the story that I want to discuss majorly. The Lakers, yes, Los Angeles Lakers, have decided to trade D'Angelo Russell, Timmy B. Mozgov for Brook Lopez on the Brooklyn Nets. And now a lot of people are probably wondering, is this a good trade? Yes and no. The reason why it is a good trade is because we pick up a, a center who is really good. He's a really good center. Brook Lopez, he does the job. But at the same time, he has been known to get a lot of injuries. So, it's how are the Lakers going to keep him healthy. I want to know how the Lakers actually keep him healthy because I would like to see some big improvements for the Lakers. And it seems like Magic Johnson, who's the GM of the Lakers right now, he's trying to create the dynasty again. But at the same time, it's like, these things need to take time. So, I'm hoping Brook Lopez can come to the Lakers and just try and do the best he can and make sure he doesn't get injured, make sure he's healthy. Now, the trade for Timothy Moskov and D'Angelo Russell, it's a bit weird because... D'Angelo Russell was actually playing good really last season and he's a work in progress. He's still young and he's, he's proven to a lot of the Lakers that he can do the job. He can really do the job. There's been quite a few games he was starting and he's averaged, what, 30 points? Not averaged, but he's done about 30 points every couple of games or something. And he, with this many assists, that many rebounds, he's done really well. And Timothy Moskov, he is a good center also. Um, he, he was there when the Cavs won their first ring. And what's weird is that with Timothy Moskov coming to us, I mean, coming to us, then going to the, to the Brooklyn Nets, it's like, well, it is a good pickup for the Nets. The Nets do have a good pickup. Personally, am I happy about this trade? 
like I said, I'm, I'm not too sure. Like, I'm okay with it. I would have liked to seen a bit more progress out of the two. But if this is what it's going to do or take to get new players in, hinting LeBron James and Paul George, then fair enough. But this is what's happening right now for the Lakers. They're clearing space for Paul George because obviously Paul George, he's from Los Angeles, this is his hometown. But trying to clear space for Paul George, well, I think we're reaching. I think the Lakers are really reaching. So I don't know if Paul George will come to the Lakers. I don't know how it's really going to work out. Plus, also, we've got to look at it like this. How else? How are we supposed to get LeBron James as well? That doesn't make sense. We're getting two players who are basically going to make us go over the cap. So I don't see that happening. I can see us getting one or the other. But at the same time, personally, I wouldn't want Paul George on the Lakers right now because I feel like we do have a couple of small forwards who are trying to build. You know, Brandon Ingram is still there. We've got Luar Deng, who's a vet. And you've got Larry Nash Jr., who is a rookie as well. So let's see what happens over the next period of time because I want to see these changes. If we don't get Paul George, then we've just basically cleared the space for nothing. But at the same time, we still got something, which is Brooklyn Lopez. So let's hope for the future and hope for the best. So, I mean, I'm still not sure what the Lakers are trying to do here. You know, Magic Johnson, um, <laughs> no disrespect to him. I feel like, yeah, he is a good GM for us. But at the same time, he's trying to build this dynasty Lakers again way too quick. We need time. And I think we have had time ever since Kobe's left. But... At the same time, we do need a little bit more time because right now, we still I don't think we still have the pieces. Even signing Paul George, I don't think we'll still have the pieces to at least form something. So, you know, it, it's, a, it's one of those things where could we make AFC or could we be at the bottom half of the league again? That's the point I'm looking at right now, you know. And for the Nets as well, this is a kind of a good move because they, they get D'Angelo Russell and they get Timothy Moscow. And it's kind of better that way because, you know, everybody knows what happened to them. They messed up in the draft and they lost their first pick. They were supposed to get it, but the Celtics ended up getting it. I don't see why the Nets traded away or gave their pick away to the Celtics, knowing, that's, knowing the Lakers and the Celtics are the two best franchises in the league in terms of championships and in terms of trades. Now, it doesn't make any sense. So the Nets, they're really rebuilding. So hopefully they can come up from this. So guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I was going to make another video, I probably am going to make another video and that's going to do something with LeBron James and Paul George, Paul George a bit more so stay tuned for that, if you did like the video don't forget to leave it a thumbs up, don't forget to share, comment and also subscribe and I will see you for the next video